Okay guys, here is my review of my on-the-fly jack plates uh, jack plate and I've never done a review video of the jack plate in specific So I wanted to do that. So please excuse the road noise behind me and the annoying crow That is crowing in the background, but we'll try to get through this video and I'm going to review my jack plate what I like about it, what I've noticed, and some general tips that I can give you about it. I love the jack plate. So glad I got it. Uh, it's much, much, much better than not having it on there. And I just want to kind of go through a few things for you. The installation was not too bad. I am a novice at this, but it wasn't really, really bad. Just make sure that you do use Marine 5200 or some kind of a sealant around all the contact points so you don't get water uh, leaking into the boat but you also don't want water getting in the transom itself and rotting out your transom. Also, you wanna make sure that on the back side where your bolts come through, you do wanna have some type of, of uh, starboard uh, or a, an aluminum plate. I think in hindsight, I'd rather have a, an aluminum plate cut, drill holes in it to do that uh, because I just feel like you'd have a lot better creating that even pressure over a bigger distance than having just that small pressure uh, in those four contact points there. So let's talk about a few other things about it that I like. Now, if you notice this little modification I did, so these holes right here, I'm not sure what they're actually for, but you can use a uh, hex key to take these out. They're just little threaded little bolts that go in there and I found stainless steel eye bolts that screwed perfectly in there and stainless steel nuts and I cut me a piece of PVC and I made myself a stakeout pole holder. So what I did was I got my stakeout pole right here, put me a T handle on the end and I just ground the back end to a tip and that can go right in here and that's my stakeout pole and it works absolutely fantastic when I'm trying to uh, fish by myself and I'm here in the back it works awesome and the on the fly jack plate had the perfect holes for that so that worked out great now when you install it a lot of people I notice ask questions of how high on the transom do you install it well here's my opinion on my GNU I installed it flush I think if you install it lower, you're gonna have problems because the whole purpose of this thing is to be able to raise your motor high enough to where you can operate better in shallow conditions. So if you have this thing any lower, it's just not gonna get the motor high enough to work. So with the jack plate in the highest position and my motor trimmed up about three clicks, the bottom skag of my motor is level with the bottom of the boat. So as long as the bottom of the boat is not touching the bottom, uh, I can actually turn the propeller and ease along. Uh, in a different video, you'll see I installed some hydrofoils on here because I am having a problem running on a plane in shallow water. I'm having a problem planing out and it's sucking in air and it's cavitating. So hopefully this will help. Haven't had a chance to test it yet, but I did do a video of me installing this and some things that I learned that you can definitely benefit from. So this is up in the highest position right now. And again, the motor clicked about two or three clicks up. And if the motor was clicked all the way down, it's still gonna, the bottom of my motor, and this is a Mercury four stroke nine nine, the bottom of this motor with the jack plate all the way up and the motor trimmed all the way down, is going to be a few inches below the bottom of the boat so just keep that in mind uh, that's why i said you do not want to install this jack plate any lower than level with the top of the transom i believe okay just has a trailer jack here that you turn whether you want to go down or whether you want to go up make sure you keep these things lubricated here if it starts to get stiff this is going to rust out on you they told me that it could do that um, I mean, you know, you're in salt. Well, if you're in salt water, that's just gonna happen. But also, there's a spot right back here. If you can see it, this gets really rusty. And this is where a lot of your stiffness is gonna come in. So if you're trying to turn this handle and you're finding it to be very, very stiff, get you a, some WD-40 and a toothbrush and scrub that and turn the handle while you've got the toothbrush up against that and that'll clean it. You can see the rust. Uh, on the plate right there. This is just rust up a lot right back here. So that's definitely a cleaning point There's an adjustment right here 
where you can actually adjust how high or low your motor will go. So once you've got the jack plate installed on your transom and everything attached, then you can decide uh, if you want to change this. This is pretty easy to change out at any point in time without having to do a whole lot of work. And currently I have it in um, the lowest setting right now. But again, you can adjust that as you need to for your operational needs. For me, I'm not really caring about speed. If I cared about speed, I would have a 15 or a 20 horse, but I'm more concerned about weight. I want it to be lighter. And so that's why I went with a 9.9 and the jack plate works great for it. So guys, I think it's a good purchase for your boat if you do have a GNU or a smaller boat. And I do like the on the fly jack plate. That way you don't have to worry about electronics or hydraulics or anything like that. I did also want to mention, you may notice that th there's a quite a bit of a gap right here from the top of the plate where you attach your motor uh, to my engine mount right here. Um, te technically, you'd want this to be all the way down. That's kind of the way you'd normally do it. But I've got space here because, again, I wanted this thing to run shallow. And I found that when I did it all the way down, it, it dropped this thing so far down that it really to me negated the purpose of having it. So what I found is I put, I went pretty much as high as I still could go and create pressure here. I had to make a spacer. This is starboard I had to cut to create a spacer uh, to attach this or else that would not tighten down enough. And then you drill your holes that goes through this plate. See how I've got holes here and here? Because before I checked everything out, I had this all the way down and flush and that's where it was mounted but then when i realized i needed to go a little bit higher i had to drill new holes right there so check all that out before you start drilling you know the deal measure two or three times before you drill hope this video helped if you guys have any other comments or questions drop it in the comment section and please subscribe to the channel we'll see you next time